What's up guys, it's Jay, Morning Have Kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 1, Game of the Year Edition, on Steam, and I'm here with my good buddy, what's going on, Gathalion? What's happening, Jay? Uh, not much, we just figured, you know, the loot hunt, by the time you guys are watching this, is gonna be over, and we all know that Borderlands kinda has got a little bit dry in content, so we decided, why not go, go back to where it all started, right guys? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a, a nostalgia run for us. We don't know exactly how many episodes it's going to take, but we're just going to we're just going to fucking have fun while we do it, you know. Yeah, and we're being Mordecai and you're being Roland. I'm being Roland and I'm going to die first in every mission. <laughs> how many milkshake uh, references can we make in this <laughs> in this playthrough? I don't know, but hopefully they all bring the boys to the yard. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click press game, but play game. Not all players in the game are ready. I'm, ready. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> professional. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we're going into the arid Nexus Badlands. We are we're almost done with the game, guys. We're almost that done. That was quick. That was quick. I wish they would just patch Saturn in right here. <laughs> Dude, could you could you imagine if they had that? That would be <laughs> awesome. Starter weapon, Saturn drops down, he's level seventy two. Um clap this is one of those gearboxes cutscenes we can't skip, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You can only look around. You can't move. <laughs> Randy! <laughs> Randy! Uh, man, but I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering, where's Baru? Where's Baru? And uh, Baru is actually going to be joining us if this series is successful, motherfuckers. If you guys like this shit. Watch it! Yeah, watch the videos. Mr. Borg tells you to. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Borg says what? <laughs> It's hard to do on the fly, isn't it? It is hard to do on the fly. I have to eat like 25 Slim Jims to do that voice. I know, and then you gotta punch yourself in the sack so you get the painful sound in your voice. You're like, oh yeah! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, if this series is good, if you guys like it, if you enjoy me and Gathalion's little fuckery around here, uh, Baru will be joining us with his brick that they, uh, cause Gathalion and Baru just finished. They just finished a playthrough on Borderlands 1. Yeah, we did playthrough one, so we kind of left it there, whether or not DLC or playthrough two is coming. So, yeah, yeah, up to you guys. Hey, look, Anthony Birch says the new you isn't canon. Well, <laughs> this is the first thing I have to do in the game is to, I'm going to choose pink. Oh, I was going to choose pink. Fine, I'll just be, I'll just be black on black on black. <laughs> on black? <laughs> <laughs> black on black on black I on think, black. I think I... I think I purchased. I'm not sure. I think the viewers are going to be really upset if we don't get the chest on top of the hotel over here. Oh. Well, it, it, you look really funny. Like, the animations in this game aren't as good as Borderlands 2. So it's yeah. like you're kind of just like hustling and bustling around. You're like, hey, what's going on, guys? Let's go get some <laughs> milkshakes. <laughs> what do I look like? Do I look like a drunk? You know what, I, I feel like there was something lost in translation between Borderlands 1 and 2. Like, Anthony was like, okay, give me give me the script and let me know everything I really need to know to write Borderlands 2. And all they did was give him, like, a picture of Claptrap. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they're like, we need you to write us a story, Mr. Birch. And Anthony was like, I'm, I'm going to write the same story <laughs> with new characters. <laughs> Right? More or it's, less. It's four vault hunters. They get duped by a bad guy into opening a vault, which has no loot in it at all, and a big monster. That's true. It didn't. Well, I mean, they, right? they, at least they didn't think there was loot in it this time, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh my god, the warrior. And then, like, it's funny because on the forums, they tell you, they're like, no spoilers, and you mention the warrior. Like, motherfucker, they mentioned that eight minutes into the game. Mm hmm. That's. Mm -hmm. That's not a spoiler. <laughs> what was it? Um, Anthony Birch was doing a an interview uh, not long ago, and he's like, he was basically like, "Listen, <laughs> I think there's a time limit on spoilers. If you don't know by now, it's your fault." Uh, I mean, well, yeah, but Gearbox is pushing that game in the Gear Edition right now, so I'm trying. Oh, I have a big ass sword. That's cool as shit. I figured I would have had a glass bottle with the end broken off. <laughs> that would have been perfect. Um, this... Are you shooting them? 
Yeah. Um, there we go. <laughs> it's like... This is, this, like, this gun has the worst accuracy ever. Yeah, guns have far less accuracy, and it's a lot of it is attributed to your your proficiencies in Borderlands One. Oh, all right. Yeah, remember uh, remember those? Yeah, dude, I love the weapon for, for I can't even say the fucking word. The proficiencies so much in this game. I feel like they could have done a mixture of both badass rank and proficiencies, and it would have been just right for Borderlands Two. Not ditch proficiencies completely. I know, right? It's like. They're like one or the other. You can't have both. It's like, <laughs> can I can I choose at least, please? <laughs> nope, nope. Um, repeater. I'll take the repeater. It has a fire rate of two point one. Sick. I you know, right? You gotta, you all gotta watch out. But at least Mordecai has that trespass skill. Yeah, trespass is pretty awesome. He's yeah. really skinny. So, uh, what I wanted to talk about today, I usually like to keep a uh, topic for my. Let's play sometimes, and I think it goes pretty well because people, you know, follow along pretty decently. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I had an idea a long time ago to where, you know, when you pick your skills inside of Borderlands 2, and it tells you you have to pick Deception with your first skill, you know what I mean? Sure. If they had an option of, like, say, say Deception and then Bloodwing, but it wouldn't be Bloodwing, it would be like. It would be like a Hyperion Surveyor that has what Bloodwing has. You know what I mean? Like, the same type of attacks and where you could play as the Borderlands 1 character skill trees in Borderlands 2. That would be cool. It would be also be like a, an alternate, full, separate class, more Yes, or less. exactly. It would, it, would, it would bring more variety to the game. Not only that, but you would still be able to play as the original classes. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I, I like more variety. I don't. I don't think there's anybody that looks at a game and says "fuck variety." And they could just augment the whole, uh, you know. Oh shit! There's a guy here. Get out! Oh, he's I'm gonna got, knife him. He he just got fucked up by a 2.1 fire rate, son. But uh, yeah, like, I was just saying, you know, that would be. I think that would be pretty awesome. Like, you know, they could even give them, you know, costumes that look like what they were wearing in Borderlands One. You know what I mean? Like. You know, it's not hard to make Maya look like Lilith with a costume. No, not at all. Like, throw some orange hair on her. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, not even. You know, it's Gearbox, so they gotta make her bald. <laughs> I don't... I think it'd be even better if they just... If they were, like, really poorly done costumes. Ah, you! you need to me! I can't, I can't walk around while I'm down there. <laughs> uh, it's like... Roland's already dying. <laughs> he Spoiler. got to. It's part of the rules. <laughs> oh! Shit. Oh, I got a skill point. Oh yeah, when you resurrect someone, you get a chunk of experience. Wait, no, I leveled up. I didn't get a skill point. I lied. Yeah, yeah, not till not till level five. Yeah, I forgot about that. God damn it. Um, that fire hurt. <laughs> it hurt pretty badly. So, uh, we're 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 meeting Zed here. What's going on, Zed? Oh. Uh, uh. Oh, oh. Oh, now, now it has to show us how to use waypoints. Ah, oh, right, because there's no mini-map. <laughs> uh-uh, no, we have, we have the compass thing. This was made before, you know, maps in general. Maps didn't exist before this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, just, it was just compasses with a very vague <laughs> dot on it. I know, right? Like, could you imagine, could you imagine, like, trying to give fucking somebody, like, like in gearbox that rushes to get there? You're like, all right, well... I'm, I'm generally over in this area, so just come keep walking this way until yeah, this you dot find will get me. Bigger. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll see me. I'll be I'll be the dot that keeps getting larger and larger. Just put my address in on Google Compass. You'll find me no problem. Ah, shit, Randy, it's all your fault. I'm Robin. Or I'm Robin Zed. I think you know if I made a game. I would have that to where, like, when you start looting the dude's area, he'd be like, Hey! Hey! <laughs> stop it. Like Skyrim? Um, yeah, but not as slow. Skyrim was a real... Like, I, I didn't like Skyrim because it took 45 minutes to get through the first cutscene of the game that you couldn't skip. He, oh my god, I hated that. By the time I got into the actual game, I was like, yeah, I'm done. I've I've won. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't think I actually completed Skyrim. Nah, I, I the only reason I downloaded it was because there's like mods and shit in it, 
and one of my buddies was, uh, you know, he does a lot of computer modification, 3D graphics design and shit. Yeah. And he, uh, he modded in my axe that I had from a game called Fortress Craft, and it, I was able to use that and go, uh, you know, swipe people down with an axe that was black and pink and said Mac on it in Skyrim. Nice. Custom it, shit is awesome. Dude, Borderlands, all right, Gearbox, I know you guys watch our videos, all right? That's no secret. We're not fooling anybody here anymore. You guys have been to our channel. So, we we need a developer's kit, man. <laughs> it's out there. Like, why don't they just release it? They did it for Borderlands 1, and there was a lot of really cool custom content. Like, full DLCs that people had made. Yep. And it's, it's just not there for Borderlands 2. I don't get it. I seen a really cool one. It was called Oasis of Borderlands 1. Yeah. And I was like, man, did that ever get finished? And I don't think it did, which is, mm. you know, it's sad, but, I mean, come on. It, it would be cool to have custom, con even if you can't do it on, you know, console, at least at least throw the PC gamers a bone. Yeah. Yeah, they even made uh, custom Underdome areas for, like, uh, the what the arenas and the custom ones were, like, way better than the ones Gearbox put out. Well, was it the first Underdome just, like, a box? Like, the, um, the PvP arena? It was... No, no, the Underdome was, like, a, it was a horde, horde mode. And oh, it, was, right. it was pretty good, but the, and the issue was, and you'll, you'll be shocked by this, Mac, there wasn't a good enough payout for the time you had to put into the Underdome. See, you know... <laughs> That's 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 what it's all about, man. You gotta reward the players for the time put in. Like you would you would beat around and it would spill loot out of the middle of the underdome, but it would be like whites and greens. And then you would look up to where the loot came from, and some of the loot was stuck, like like it didn't <laughs> fall. So you could see your guns, but you couldn't get them. So basically, it's, it's like, dude, your 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 guy is freaking out on me. Game spy servers, woo. What's he doing? Is he just like is, uh, he, you're is he moonwalking? You're flickering. Oh, <laughs> it's like kind of weird, but yeah, you know, it was. It's kind of like I, I could see that being a real reminiscent of the tour explosion. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, why? <laughs> Not only that, but you know, I always wondered why, why the fuck. Torg does the meadly meadly mal when you kill the dragons. Like Torg has nothing to do with that DLC. Uh uh. All right, you have your own loot explosion, Torg, and it sucks. You had to make <laughs> up for it. Yeah, I know, right? He's like, where the fuck did you go? I'm still. Oh, there you are. Not only that, but but the badass Asaurus Rex is one of the worst bosses. <laughs> like, uh, let's, man, let's put you in a circle room with no cover, and he has almost unavoidable attacks. All I the time. Have, I have twelve minute fail compilations of Badass Asaurus Rex, alright? I me and Badass Asaurus Rex have a problem with each other. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's yeah. the first thing I did when I got my OP eight Harold was I went and I fought Badass Asaurus Rex at level seventy two. And how did how did you do? Did you still die? No, no. I whooped his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him so much. Oh, he's not that bad. He's. I hate the Dargans. I hate the Dargans. Oh, Dargans. I can't stand them. None of the raid bosses are great now. At OP8, they're all just like giant mountains of not fun health. Dude, I did that on live stream the other day. They're like, go fight Pete on OP8, because I never fought any raid bosses on OP8 yet, right? So I was like, mm -hmm. it's like all right, you know, I've I've beat this shit out of Pete plenty of times. Let's, let's go see what's going on with Pete. I swear to God, I... Even with a Sandhawk, even with a Sandhawk, it was like, this is not fun. <laughs> like, I got his shields down, and at once I, I saw how low his, like, how how little I was doing to his actual health bar, I just, it. I just quit and put it back on level 72. I was like, man, that's not cool at all. Oh, hey! Hmm. You over there kicking ass? Nice. Yeah, I put a, I put a knife right in his throat. I'm trying to shoot the barrel, but that, there we go. Sweet. <laughs> I missed the gore from Borderlands One. Oh, dude! Fucking 
That's the only thing good about the OP levels is when you're playing on level 72, people start exploding on Borderlands 2, and it's like, hey. <laughs> it's still nothing compared to Borderlands 1, though, because he would, like, shoot once, or, like, shoot a dude in the head, and his head oh, would pop, and then blood got? would just squirt. Yes, yes, it would. I I love the head pops in this game. Let me see. Uh, I have a sniper rifle here that I picked up. Level four. Why did I? Why are they giving me level four loot? Yeah, there's a level four sniper over here too, Jacobs. Uh, what's the uh, what's the damage on that? So, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna start taking everything right now. <laughs> I have a I have a um a pistol right now with ten ten damage, and that ten damage pistol had an up arrow, even though <laughs> it was it was ten damage. It's like this ten damage is better than that ten because reasons. Significantly better. Significant reasons. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Am I the only one, though, that thinks Borderlands 1, like, the look of it actually feels like what, what this game was supposed to be made for? Like, it's like a wasteland, you know? It's like, it's not... Yeah, I... There was a lot of, of uh, kickback about the visual style and how it was just, like, brown and brown and brown, and a lot of people really liked it, but I guess like the press and some other key people didn't love it. So I feel like 2K might have, I don't know, put some pressure on Gearbox to, yeah. to give Borderlands some color. They got they got some heat from down above. Oh, wait, you have a shield, you bastard. I should get one of those. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had a mission to buy a shield. Yeah, I forgot about that. But, um... I mean, I, I love the look of Borderlands 2. It's it's a great looking game, but there's just there is a, a, a certain feel and uh, and just I don't know atmosphere about Borderlands 1 that you can't that's not matched in Borderlands 2. Yeah, although Borderlands 2 does have some pretty locations, though I I love the look of Hater's Folly. It's <sighs> it yeah all the blues and the greens and like the pastels and shit. It's like oh wow. We're, the first time I set foot in there, along with the music, the music in Borderlands 2 is really good. Even though the ambiance in this one is is also it's also pretty great. I don't know. I like each game for a lot of different reasons. Yeah, that's that's one thing. Like, like I I, I play Borderlands 2 because I know a lot of people are saying it, but I like the I like the mechanics of the controls in the game. Like. The, the gunplay in Borderlands 2 feels really tight and really, really good. But, like, the RPG aspect of it never really kind of appealed to me, you know? Yeah, I feel like if they're trying to do a shooter RPG, then why aren't there more stats? Like, why can't I go to my menu and scroll all the way to the right, and then there's a page with, like, how many kills I have, and then how many kills lifetime I have of each kind of enemy? Like, I feel like that would be something that, that people would want to see, you know? I feel like that's something that only you and Baru want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Tell me in the comments I'm not wrong. I know I'm not wrong. You're wrong. I want to know how many bandits I've killed since day one. No, you don't. You just yeah. you just want to be like, I'm better than everybody. I got so <laughs> many bandits killed. I have 43 million bandits killed lifetime. Who wants to touch my penis? Hey, hey, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot this is a Mac video. I gotta keep it going. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't go that far around here. We don't say penis, we say cock. <laughs> listen, listen, if you're gonna talk about that part, at least say cock. I know, right? Unless you're talking about a small penis, then you, that, that could be a penis. <laughs> Alright, because there's different levels of penis. You got, I mean, you got cocks. You got dicks, but I mean, no, nobody's gonna mistake a penis for a cock. <laughs> <laughs> your your logic is unflawed, Mac. I know, right? It's like they're like, oh my god, hey. Um, apparently, my hand turned white. What? It was weird. It was like I had a digital matrix glove. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh yeah, we gotta get food. That's right. Yeah, we gotta get the sack, the skag food for for TK. Do we have to coat it in bile? No, no, not this time. Maybe next time. That was a fun mission. <laughs> I think that might be my favorite sentence ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hate Brick because 
his his undeniable ability to just say slab every five seconds. But <laughs> you know, he does have some really good lines. He really he does. does. He he has the best lines, I think, in the Tiny Tina's DLC. <laughs> uh yeah, he, he goes he goes, punch him till he explodes. Brick's like, I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> We have to buy grenades now. Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, those of you guys that have never seen a Borderlands video before, if this is your first time, this is we, we can have grenades in this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new thing, new technology. Yeah, grenades that, didn't it, exist in games before this. Uh-uh, brand new. Um, that asshole has a shield. I don't like that. I can't hit criticals because I don't know how accurate this gun is. <laughs> Oh god, that skag tried to jump up on you. Oh! Fuck over here. Did you got get him? him? I got him. Nice. We don't we don't want you getting damaged or anything. You might have to live sometime soon. <laughs> I have to live till a certain point. Yeah, you might be an integral part of the story until you're not. <laughs> <laughs> until I've outworn my welcome. Have you ever noticed though on the on the first uh on the when you first meet Roland? The, on the wall behind him, it says, you die. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, didn't you say that in a video? I think that's... Yeah, I, th I think so. Oh, terrible scattergun. I need a rusty sniper. It's, that's 94% accurate, and it's a Vladoff. What a, oh, it's a Vladoff with a .9 fire rate. Good game. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Let's not, let's not do that. Although I do like that, that like the weapons, even though like you know they they still have their gimmicks, like well not their gimmicks, gimmicks like TD or don't explode or nothing, but like you know I can have a Vladoff shotgun, or you know what I mean, like I I love the Vladoff shotguns. Uh, I I really wish the hammer had made it over. Do you remember the hammer? Ah, oh, the hammer, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that thing was a beast. We didn't turn this in. Oh, we got to turn it in TK. Oh, did we? Yeah. Why is it a TK mission? They make you run around a lot in this first area. Like, this this is probably the slowest beginning to a game. Skyrim? Hello? We are. Oh, yeah, Skyrim. Yeah, Skyrim. We, we just talked about 45-minute <laughs> unskippable cutscene that involves you almost dying. Right? Yeah, but it escalates very quickly towards the end <laughs> of that cutscene. Yeah, they're like, they're like, hey... You just started a game. You're about to get your head chopped off. How do you feel about that? <laughs> and it's like, oh, watch out for the big puddle of skag juice over here, slag. Oh, oh, we got to go kill Nine Toes now. All right. That's he's he's on the other side, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's in in Skag Gully. We got to go over there. You know, I think I think some of these headhunter packs, like you know how we're supposed to fight a turkey. And yeah, the headhunter. I think I think that area should be Skag Gully. That would be awesome. Like, just bring bring back the nostalgia of it. And yeah, if they like, really want to sell a lot of these, they should really tug on those nostalgia strings. I know, right? Pull my penis, gearbox. I mean, cock. Wait, cock. I mean, yes. <laughs> At but, least they schlong. No, I mean, I'm I'm not that well. And no, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I've been with my girlfriend for six years. She's not with me for my money. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen my wife and then me. It's clearly something else. Dude, uh, let's not go there. Let's just... <laughs> the first thing Max said to me when he saw my wife was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you don't deserve it. You really don't. It's fine. I, I just won't ask questions. Although I'm... it did make me feel little bit better that you paid for those <laughs> so it's like it's like all right so she wasn't stacking bazongas when you met her but you helped clear that up a little bit <laughs> listen listen if there's something you want you go out and get it fellas hey yeah you know you, that's what i'm saying like everybody's like oh my god i can't get with her she has small titties i'm like well one day she might have big titties exactly you don't you don't buy a house that's move-in ready you buy a fixer-upper I know, it's right? easier to move into. Not only that, but I mean, seriously? I mean, you gotta paint the walls at least, if you don't like the colors. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, this is bad. 
<laughs> my girlfriend's like nine feet behind me, listening to what we're saying and shit. She's like, oh, I'm glad that my, my boyfriend is a pig. But I'm like, you know what? You've seen my videos. <laughs> it's no secret. I can feel my female demographics shrinking right now. I can feel my male demographics enlarging. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to see my demographics? <laughs> Dude, you can make like almost anything sound fucking sexual, really. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, Wait, what lady, lady finger, finger, you want that? You know, that doesn't sound sexual it. at all. Yeah, I want that. Is Baru's it? gonna be all pissed when he sees this. <laughs> what? In our, in our Let's Play, I fucking ninja everything. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's got a scope on it. Is, uh... Is is Mordecai a melee character or what? Because he doesn't feel like it. Um, he can. He has a, a one com that you can get in the Nox DLC that's super melee based. Alright. Um, I forget what the name of the skill is, but... Uh, it, like, ups your melee damage by a lot, and it's, it's sort of like Killing Blow, but it can do it from 100% health. Oh, I like that. The Lady Fist is pink. I like that. <laughs> it's a Mac Pistol. Well, it's not Lady Fist, I'm sorry, it's the finger. She didn't want to give you the whole fist yet. Nah, not till Borderlands 2. Not till Borderlands 2, you hear that, fellas? Always start with the finger before the fist. <laughs> That's actually good, uh... That's actually good advice. <laughs> Don't want to put the whole fist in first? Go get him, asexual bird! <laughs> man, why am I not level 5 yet? Cuz, man, he ain't... Look, you're about to die, motherfucker. It's fine. I'm gonna stab this guy. Get a, a second win. I was Perfect. gonna steal your kill there. <laughs> Yeah, why aren't you level 5 yet? You you rezzed me and got like an extra 100 experience points. Oh. The melee it's fine. in this game doesn't have the same type of cooldown. Well, it's it's slower. It's not like fucking Borderlands 2. You bah, bah, I can fucking melee 8 times in the time I melee once in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's Krieg's nephew. Yeah, I, Krieg uses lines from Nine Toes, and I'm like, why? Why is he using those lines? He's not Nine Toes. Uh, Just pe pepper him with grenades. I only have one grenade, so. Oh well, we got I've, it. I've already thrown that grenade. Loot explosion, baby! Oh, it's Digit. Get it? <laughs> hey, asexual bird! Hey. He never dies. Oh, oh no my way! My dog got him. Dots are actually useful in this game. Yeah, I know. Sadly enough. Let me grab that health pack there. Mm, it's right in the gullet. <laughs> That's a word you don't hear enough, is gullet. That's a good word, too. It is it's a like, good word. It's like, hey, baby, why don't you put this down your gullet? <laughs> 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 oh, shit. What do we got here? We got a repeater. Nine damage! That is a... Look at this. This is a terrible shotgun. Yeah, it's it's quite literal. It is a terrible it's shotgun. It's 150 melee damage, though. Oh, is it? Oh, shit. That shit's got a blade on it. You should probably just take the terrible shotgun. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that for... Pa, pa. Just for just for terrible purposes only. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got one more chest over here. The, 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 oh, you have to make sure chest? to get all these chests when you're doing these Let's Plays, or you hear about it in the comments. Oh, yeah. You missed the chest! I'm gonna take that. That's Another terrible points. shotgun. It's most terrible. Yeah, but that's... Oh, wow. Dude, are you serious? The sniper rifle they spawned me with? 26 damage. <laughs> what? 26 damage. Here, look. I'll drop it for you. <laughs> That's like, that's got to be the worst sniper rifle in the history. That's perfect. You, that's what you want from a sniper. Yeah, twenty six damage. I mean, yeah, that's wonderful. On a on a scale of one to amazing, that is as fantastic, which is right under amazing. What? Now this is impossible. 
Those two snipers have the same stats. Identical. I think uh, is this no the scope is is different. Yeah, but come on, man. Th- they say it's impossible to do that. <laughs> of course they're going to say it's impossible. That's marketing. What it's do you think they're gonna, Randy's going <laughs> to Randy's going to do a conference and be like, "Well, you would probably see this game gun like, I don't know, 42 times in an hour." <laughs> 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 Suddenly, Randy is like a uh, a plumber from Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe you uh, maybe you'll see a few guns that you've seen once or twice. Ask Luigi. <laughs> Ask your cousin Billy. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, I can't. I can't get under the elevator and just end it. I've waited for you. <laughs> that, was really, that was really kind of you to wait for me. Well, I figured. You know what? You're going to die in the next game anyway. Oh, it's inevitable. Might as well be nice to you now. Dude, if I could go back, though, they should probably... Ooh, I like that. See how it says you open the chest? They need that Borderlands, too. I know, I know. So Why you is know that when somebody's there? out there ninja loot, and you're like, what are you What are you it, doing over... Oh, he's got a legendary! Get him! Get it him shows when you do anything. Like, why is that gone? I don't know. It's like... Roland has scratched his ass. <laughs> I I almost feel like they had intended to make loot instanced, and then didn't. Yeah, they they probably they're like, we're gearbox. We we don't know what we're doing right now. <laughs> well, because if it was instanced, it would be irrelevant what everybody else is picking up. But since we share loot, it's kind of like relevant information for everybody. Well, exactly. Yeah, it's like, bitch, what are you picking up over there that I don't have? Ooh, there's a, usually a, a, some good stuff in this chest around the corner up here. Alright, uh, well, there's a pup skag. That, he's dead. Oh! Go, birdie, go! Oh, yeah, action skill. Yeah, I forgot all about that. <laughs> I'm liking this melee attachment. It is absolutely wrecking shit. Oh, and about the fire rate. In Borderlands 1, you can just fire and then melee, and it resets your fire rate. I, I don't remember if you can do that in Borderlands 2. Maybe? What do you mean it resets your fire rate? Like, you'll, if you have an under one second fire rate, slower than, you fire and then you melee and then you can fire again instantly. Oh. So it's like constant fire melee, fire melee, and it's cheap. That's, that's a min-maxer thing. <laughs> oh! Go, birdie, go! Get it! Nice. Also, racks are a lot less menacing in this one. Yeah. Like, uh, the racks in <laughs> Ultimate Volt Hunter mode will fuck you up. Dude, but... you hear, Rah! you're you're done. You're <laughs> fucked. It's like, it's an enemy. I'm going in the health gate. I have to prepare emotionally to be in health gate. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, why do I have to health gate against a rack? Reasons. <laughs> Look at you over I'm here. on a killing spree right now. Yeah, you are, but that's all right, because I have a bird of little of no use. He's perfect. Ah, 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 there we go. Are you dying? Nah, I'm good. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Immediately get down. You need help over there? I feel like I'm fine. I feel like... I feel like that shotgun is still terrible. <laughs> it's just it's, it's terrible, but the melee attachment is making it pretty useful. I just ate all the fucking health packs. <laughs> <laughs> they see you die, they're giving us health packs, and I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. You look they like... wait till I'm after, till I'm already dead to give us health packs. I feel like you could u- make use of this shotgun. I mean, this assault rifle a little better. Oh, nice, nice havoc. Yeah, that's what I was feeling like. Like. I think Roland is a is the commando of this game, right? He's the the assault well, like, rifle guy. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Siren's like the SMG type girl. I guess Hunter is supposed to be a sniper and and pistols. And Berserker is is useless in this game. It's not true. He has the highest DPS of all characters. Yeah, but only with the Blaster Master combo. That's it. That's it. He has one good combination, he, and it's, it's like, broken. Yeah, but then, I mean, I guess he's like Sal. You just 
put the right shit in his hands and he's an unstoppable tank. Yeah, pretty much. It's broken. But, I mean, not that it really matters. There's not a lot of shit to kill it with at endgame. Everything pretty much melts to everybody. Yeah. But i that's why I feel like they should have fucking scaled up true vulnerable mode, you know? But that's that's a topic for another episode, I think. Yep. And speaking of that, we are now about to turn this in, and I think we're about the 30-minute mark here. Somewhere around there. What do you, uh, do you have your counter on your screen, motherfucker? I don't have a counter on my screen. I just go off of instinct. And yeah, I think you're right. What a bad YouTuber you are. I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I'm using dual PCs, so I'm looking over at the other PCs capture module, and I'm like, you know, this would probably be a good area to end out this episode. And then, and then next episode, we could talk about the scaling of true Vault Hunter mode. Yeah, let's get the people involved on that. Yeah, let's... <laughs> Let's bring the people in on it, because, you know, if it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be making these videos. Seriously. Yeah, it's true. I wouldn't make these videos and just sit in my room and watch my own videos. That that would be... That would be Baru. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just fucking around. Uh, so, yeah, guys, I think that'll about wrap it up for episode one of our Let's Play. Yeah, Borderlands we're gonna get one. a... I'm gonna, I got a skill point to spend, so... Uh, what do you think? What do you think I should use? Swift Strike... Uh, do you know anything about this motherfucker? Or? I have never played Mordecai. Not ever. Alright, well, this one right here says critical hit damage. So I, I like critical hit. We're going with that. Awesome. It's always good. So, uh, yeah. My name is Jay. More than Afterkill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. And Cathalians! Motherfucking video. Oh! Shit! Ah! Ah, Poppy! <laughs> We're doing an outro. It's so rude. Yeah. Hey! Gearbox! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> they, they fucking hot patch that shit in did to we, ruin the outro. Did we aggro anything on the way? I don't feel like we no, did. No, <laughs> no. They spawned from nowhere. That's... So, uh, yeah. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna see you guys later. <laughs>